You need to read it. Oh, this is so dangerous. It's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing two tags. That's four. I mean only two tags. So they are both fall related tags which makes me super happy because fall is my favorite season. So I guess that makes me basic. Fall is my favorite season. It always has been and so I was tagged in the fall time cozy time book tag and in the finally fall book tag. I am going to do my best to do both of these tags in one video. So I'm going to try to answer quickly. Let's just get into this and see how it goes. The first tag I'm going to do is the fall time cozy time book tag. And this one doesn't have that many questions, which is really nice. So let's just get started. Crunching leaves, the world is full of color. Choose a book that has reds, oranges, and yellows on the cover. So for this one, I chose Abhorsen by Garth Nix. As you can tell, that's got basically all the fall colors on it. So I went with that one. Second question, cozy sweater. It's finally cold enough to don warm, cozy clothing. What book gives you the warm fuzzies? And for this question, I'm going to go with the Chronicles of Narnia. I do not have them in physical form. I have ebook version, so this is my Kobo. But honestly, the Chronicles of Narnia just gives me that cozy feeling, especially the first book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It is set in wintertime, and it just, the way it's described, you just get sucked into the magical world of Narnia. Fall storm. The wind is howling, and the rain is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. I really do love reading fantasy in the fall and winter time, but I tend to read fantasy year round. So it I don't really pick it up more in the fall season. But what I do tend to pick more up of is mysteries, crimes, thrillers. And so for this one, I'm going to go with The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. I picked this book for two reasons. One, the cover is really fall, so that's obvious. The second is, this sounds like a super interesting mystery. It's got family drama in it, lots of secrets and people's past and everything. So lots of mystery involved. And I tend to gravitate to more of these types of books in the fall. Cool, crisp air. Who's the coolest character you'd want to trade places with? Now, I read a lot of fantasy and action adventure books. So a lot of my main characters that I read about tend to have really crappy situations going on and they end up having to fight the big evil at the end of the book, right? So it wasn't easy to pick, but I am going to go with Feyre from the Akatar series as she's got a lot of good in her life. She's got a lot of bad too, but she honestly has a lot of good biggest one being Resand, and you know she's got great friends and she has powers and it's just like she basically kicks butt so yeah I would love to trade places with Feyre. Hot Apple Cider. What underhyped book do you want to see become the next biggest hottest thing? Now I don't normally pick up super recent books. I don't really have a kind of a recent book that's more underhyped. I have older books that I've read that are really, really good and I would love to see become hyped, but I don't know if that really qualifies for this. So for this, I'm gonna go with a series that I honestly have loved and I've reread it, I think three times now, and it's the Mark of the Lion series. This is a historical fiction series set in the Roman times, so with gladiators and everything, and it's so stinking good, like so good. I would love to see more people read this and just tell me what they think about it. But because this is definitely an older series, I don't know if that will ever happen. But whatever, I can I can wish for things, right? Is that a bad idea? That's kind of, that's a bad idea. Coats, scarves, and mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you like to keep hidden in public? So I actually don't have a lot of embarrassing book covers. I went through every single one of my books and none of them are like super cringy. Honestly, the most cringy book covers that I know of are ones where basically it's kind of like a boy and a girl kissing and it's just like supposed to be all steamy on the cover and it's just awkward. As for books that I own, I would have to say the most cringy is when it's kind of a person on the cover, but it's not real. It's like a drawing. I find that these are pretty cringeworthy because it's just like the main characters on the cover, but it's not even like a cool action drawing or something. I don't know. Does that count? <laughs> Pumpkin spice. What's your favorite fall time comfort food or slash foods? My 
favorite comfort food come cozy weather is pies. <laughs> I am a sweet tooth, so I am a sucker for a good apple pie, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Honestly, give me a piece of pie and some ice cream or whipped cream and you have sold me. I'm happy. Just recently, I went to some event that had a whack load of pies and I was so tempted to take a slice of every single pie. And I had just had a Thanksgiving dinner, so I didn't even have the space for it, but I wanted to try. I wanted to see my limits. All right, so that is the fall time cozy time book tag. I was tagged from Ashley from Ashley uh, Stormo. Stormo, is that how you say it? So thank you Ashley for tagging me. Now to jump into the next tag, and that is the finally fall book tag, and I was tagged by Kate Hickey. So thank you Kate for tagging me in this. So excited. All right, so question number one. In fall, the air is crisp and clear. Name a book with a vivid setting. So for this one, I'm going to go with Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I think that this book has um, super vivid setting. It's kind of set in like a circus. You totally get sucked into the descriptions of the world. It's colorful, energetic, and um, so yeah, I'm going to say that one. Something's gonna fall at some point, I just know it. Question two, nature is beautiful, but also dying. Name a book that is beautifully written, but also deals with a heavy topic like loss or grief. I'm gonna go with Prisoner of Tehran by Marina Namat. This book is basically about a lady who gets arrested and tortured um, in a prison, what's a prison? Evan Prison. It is beautifully written. There were some descriptions in this book that have stuck with me. It definitely is a heavy topic for sure. Question three, fall is back to school season. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something new. For this one, I'm gonna go with We Are All the Same by Jim Wooten. This book is basically about a little boy named Nkosi Johnson. He had HIV AIDS and the story is just about his life and the people that cared for him, his foster mother. It's got tons of South African history in it and a uh, history about AIDS in Africa. This nonfiction book definitely taught me a lot. Question four, in order to keep warm, it's good to spend some time with the people we love. Name a fictional family household friend group that you'd like to be a part of. Obviously, what came to mind was the Weasleys from Harry Potter. <laughs> But to add something different to the mix, I am gonna go with the inner circle from the Akatar series. This inner circle is just the coolest ever and I would love to be a part of it. So, question five. The colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall colored spines. I have a whack load of books that are actually orange, red, yellow. I even have a gold one. Isn't that awesome? Ooh. I'm actually not gonna put that on display. That's just dangerous. <laughs> Question number six, fall is the perfect time for some storytelling by the fireside. Share a book wherein somebody is telling a story. For this one, I'm gonna go with The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. There is a story being told in this, and honestly, the best part about this book is once you discover who the narrator is, who's narrating the story, it's incredible. So yeah, if you haven't read this book, Question number seven, the nights are getting darker, share a dark, creepy read. I'm gonna go with Frank Peretti, The Oath. I've said this multiple times, but this is probably the creepiest book on my shelves that I've read. I have other creepy books, but I thought it would be fair to go with one that I've read. Another book that I read that I don't own is Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. That is one creepy read. Read that one if you want a nice creepy read for the fall season. Question number eight, the days are getting colder. Name a short, heartwarming read that could warm up somebody's cold and rainy day. So for this one, I'm gonna go with The Book of Awesome by Neil Prezrisha. <laughs> by Neil Prezrisha. Um, this isn't necessarily a story. This is just a collection of a bunch of awesome things. It doesn't seem like the shortest book, but because it's just like a whole bunch of little things, I think you could get it through pretty quickly. I'm gonna say this one because short and quick and encouraging and makes you laugh and all that stuff. Oh. Question number nine, fall returns every year. Name an old favorite that you'd like to return to soon. This one was a very easy answer for me and that one is gonna be The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I am picking this book series up this month and I'm gonna be reading it until the end of the year. It's an old favorite and I'm excited to get to it and I'm getting to it very, very soon. So all the criteria have been met with this answer. Question number 10, fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. Share your favorite cozy reading accessories. It is the classics. I don't have anything different. Basically it's tea. I always read with a cup of tea. Another one is blankets. I, it makes me so stinking happy to curl up with a blanket. And another one is a fire. Me and my mom just hound on my dad to start a fire and occasionally he does 
and then we're super happy because we can read in front of the fire. Question number 11. Spread the autumn appreciation and tag some people. I'm going to tag people in the description box below, so go check that out to see if you're tagged. And if you really want to do this tag and you're like, no one's tagged me yet, guess what? Kristen tags you. Go ahead and do this tag because it's fall season and everyone should be doing a fall tag. Whether or not it's your favorite season, I say you should. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to end this video before these books fall on me and I die. So give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!